Keesler hosted the 2010 Mississippi Special Olympic Games through an uncooperative weather weekend. Six months of preparation and planning all paid off this weekend, said Major Michael Hare, 2010 Special Olympics Mississippi Project Officer. We've had them in this training environment for however long they've been here, and they've, you know, they've been focused purely on training. Now we ask them to be airman sponsors, take care of an athlete for a weekend, uh, and, and you can watch them over the course of the weekend and tell that they, they grow to love what they're doing. Months of preparation led to the torch run kicking off the event. Brigadier General Ian Dickinson, 81st Training Wing Commander, ran the torch onto the base to ignite the cauldron outside Welsh Auditorium on Friday. The athletes had an outstanding time during the event Saturday morning, whether it was participating in karaoke, competing in their sport, or just hanging out with their airman sponsors. They couldn't have been happier. An afternoon downpour forced cancellation of many events, but luckily the morning competitions happened as scheduled. The weather didn't fully cooperate, Major Hare said, but most of the athletes still got a chance to compete, and every athlete had a chance to have some fun with our airmen. These athletes look forward to this event all year, and it would take more than just a little rain to spoil their experience. It's not just the sports they love, it's being together with their friends, family, coaches, and airmen sponsors. So even with the rain-shortened games, there were a lot of smiles all weekend long. A lot of happy athletes, parents, coaches, and supporters. And none of that would have been possible without your support, your volunteer spirit, and your dedication, said Major Hare, in thanking everyone who volunteered throughout the weekend. Thank you for a phenomenal effort and a job very well done.